Hey guys, welcome to Open Source Options. Today I'm going to show you how you can install GeoPandas using Conda for Anaconda and Miniconda or just using pip uh, for other Python installations. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by opening up my Anaconda prompt. I'm using Miniconda here. Let's slide that over here so you can see what we have going on here. And now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an environment uh -huh, to install this into. I recommend you use environments with Python uh, and Conda, Anaconda makes it really easy to do this. I'm going to do Conda, create, dash n for name. I'm going to call this GPD for GeoPandas. And I'm going to give it a Python version, which is going to be 3.9. This is going to take just a second and then it's going to ask me if I want to continue, and I'm going to say yes, and it's going to create my environment. Just about done here. And now once this gets done, there are going to be two ways you can install GeoPandas using Conda. You can use the default channel, or you can use the Conda Forge channel. I'll type out both commands, and you can copy and paste these commands from the article linked below on my website if you don't want to type it out yourself, even though they're simple. So the way we do this is we do conda install geopandas. This will install from the default conda package channel, which is just fine. Um, I will note that no matter which channel you choose to install this from, you want to install all the packages from your, for your environment from the same channel. So if you install from the default channel, install everything from the default channel. If you install from the Conda Forge channel, install everything from the Conda Forge channel. That will just um, limit dependency issues and import errors that arise because of different dependencies. The first thing I need to do before I run any commands though, is I need to do Conda activate GPD. Uh, and now you can see that my environment is activated. So I typed out how to install from the default channel to install from the Conda Forge channel. We do Conda install, we'll specify a channel, Conda-Forge GeoPandas. The other way you can do this is to use the short form of the channel and do dash C, Conda-Forge GeoPandas. They're equivalent commands. I'm going to hit enter here to install GeoPandas. Now note, this is probably gonna take a minute. Um, sometimes it doesn't find it on the first try and it has to go and try it again, but rest assured it should install. If it doesn't install for you from Conda Forge, you can try it from the, um, the default channel. And if that doesn't work, I will show you how to install this using PIP for Windows, which is a little more complicated once this installation finishes. So I'll pause the video while this installation completes and I'll come back when it's done. All right, so that took about two minutes and you can see that it's telling me the packages that will be installed, the dependencies that will be installed. Um, if I install GeoPandas, there are a lot of them. Um, they're all listed there. And it asks me if I want to continue and I will say yes and I will hit enter and then we will go through the installation here which will take just a couple more minutes. Okay, so the installation has completed, and now let's go ahead and test to make sure that GeoPandas is working properly. And the way I can do this is by starting an interactive Python session. You can see Python's opened up there, and I can import GeoPandas as GPD. And if I really want to test this, um, let me go find a shapefile that I can open real quick and we'll actually open a shapefile to make sure everything works as it should. Okay, so here I'll put in the path to a uh, Windows directory and uh, a file now. And we can use GeoPandas to read this file. And we do that, we'll call this our GDF with GPD 
dot read file file name and let's make sure there are no errors here okay and now we can do gdf dot head and you can see that we have features and geometries in there so that file opened properly all right now that's how we can do this with Anaconda, which for me, I recommend using Anaconda. I actually, I actually recommend using Miniconda, um, and I'll get that, into that in a different video about why you should potentially use Miniconda instead of Anaconda and which one's best for who. Um, but some of you may not use uh, Anaconda for very good reasons, and you may want to know how you can install this using PIP, which gets a little more complicated because you need to install the dependencies for GeoPandas individually. But let's go ahead and demonstrate that here. I'm still going to use this Anaconda Python distribution, and some of you are going to complain that I shouldn't be installing with pip on Anaconda, and you know you're probably right, but this works, and it's going to demonstrate how you can do it yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new environment. So I'm going to do conda create-n, and um, I'm going to call it gpd pip and python equals 3.9 okay so let's get this environment created here and i'm going to proceed yes and so the basics for this is i'm going to have to install the uh the geopandas dependencies and those are going to be fiona iproj, rtree, and shapely. Now, if you're installing on Windows, this gets a little complicated because with Fiona, there aren't compiled wills to install Fiona on a Windows Python distribution. If you go check out the GeoPandas documentation, you'll see that on Windows, you can use PyOGRIO instead of Fiona, which is what I'm going to use here. If you're using Linux or Mac, you should be able to install Fiona in place of PyOGRIO. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just get started installing these dependencies. So I'll start with um, uh, pip install PyOGRIO, and then I'll move on to PyProj, and then Archery, and then Shapely. Okay, so that installed. So now let's go pip install, use the upper to get that back and uh, pyproj, which is uh, projections, spatial projections, and then um, our tree, which is going to facilitate um, spatial indexing, and then finally shapely, which will provide support for geometries. And now we can install geopandas pip install geopandas after those four, I believe, um, dependencies have been installed. Okay, and now we should be able to go back and do the same thing and just test this. Oh no, guys, I totally screwed that up. I didn't activate my environment. So let's go back and do that again. Um, GPD win or GPD pit. So I just messed up that GPD environment, which I can just go back and I'll remove that later. Um, we showed that it works. Let's go ahead and install these dependencies again. So let's go pip install pyogrio. Uh, you can see how you can mess this up now. And I'm going to leave this in. I can go back and edit this out, but I'm actually going to leave it in so you can see this mistake that you can make and how to fix it if you have an issue. All right, and then pip install pyproj. So if you don't like that I left that mistake in there, I apologize, it's something I do have done with all my videos, no I'll install archery, because I think it's useful for um, learning to see how mistakes can be made and to see that even people who say they know what they're doing also make those mistakes. Now we'll install Shapely. And finally, we can install GeoPandas. All 
All right, so this should take just a little longer this time, and it does. All right, and it looks like it's actually installing these things like it should instead of skipping right over them. And so once this gets done, we'll use that same file to test it out, make sure everything works, uh, and then you'll know how you can install GeoPandas in two different ways. All right, so let's open up an interactive Python session. Um, let's import GeoPandas as GPD. Make sure there are no issues here. Our file name equals this, and I need to pull up what that state was again here. It was CB 2018 US state 500k.shp. And we'll do this, and then we'll do um, GDF equals GPD dot read file file name. And then we can do GDF dot head. And then you can see that once again, we have features and we have geometries. So that file is properly read by GeoPandas. And that is how you can install GeoPandas uh, for Windows with Anaconda and with PIP. I hope you found this useful. And like I said, you can copy and paste code from the article linked in the description.